Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another one of those short videos that you can use as a reference so that when you come to do this kind of work you can just take a look at this video and you'll get there. Before we do anything I'm going to tell you my version of FreeCAD is now 1.02. Downloaded the latest one. This one is uh, from the 5th of August it looks like. So I'm going to start out by creating a file create a part create a body that's the way i always start off my uh, new models and then i'm going to create a sketch and i'm going to create that on the xy plane first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a centered rectangle so i'm going to hit center and i pull it out i'm watching those dimensions i just want to make it big enough that it's not a teeny tiny little thing I'm just going to create that box and then I'm going to pop in a hole over here. And I'm going to pop in a square hole over here. No particular measurements, nothing really matters in terms of the measurements for this right now. Of course, if we're going to make something super accurate or whatever, we could certainly dimension this and go ahead and constrain everything but I'm not going to do that because I want to keep this as a short video so I have a part a body with some holes in it and now what I want to do is to create a second body so I'm going to hit my body and I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to create that sketch on the XY plane again and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to create another centered rectangle, but I'm going to create it much bigger than that one. And I'm going to close that. And the reason I'm closing that is now I want to show you what we're going to be doing. So this is the sub object shape binder. And I want to take this hole and this square hole, and I want to put it inside my sketch so i want to make them holes move down here the easiest way to do it is to create a sub object shape binder so i'm going to select this face and then i'm going to create a sub object shape binder now i'm going to go back to this pad and just turn the whole pad off you can see i have my shape binder which is just that face if i tilt it over you can see it's just the face of that object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my sketch again and now I'm going to project from here. I'm going to use this um, external geometry projection and I'm just going to select there's a point there and the outside shape of that and I'm going to select that line and that line and that's enough for me to see the square. Now you can see if you look there that it projects them down onto the sketch plane. I'm going to turn off my sub object shape binder. I'm just going to select it and turn it off. And now if I go back into the view, remember if we use this button over here, the view sketch, it's going to pop the sketch back into its normal plane. And then I can zoom in over here and I can see my circle. So to draw another circle in there, I'm just going to use a regular line a regular circle pop it in there take it out to that point that I touched now I know that one is exactly where that one was and then for this square I'm just going to select the point so I'm going to select that point that point that point that point and that point now when I close that and I pad that I'm going to pad it reversed say okay and then when i turn on my other pad so here are the two pieces together and as we turn them over you can see those line those holes align perfectly now if i wanted to sync this shape into this shape i could do the same thing with that outside shape and just drop it down as a separate sketch so let's just show you that just as a a quick idea for something you might use this for so if i do another sketch and i do it on the x y plane again and i'm going to turn back on my shape binder 
And now this time, I'm just going to project this outside shape. And this one. And I'm going to turn off my binder. And then I just draw it a shape from there. Actually, what you can do with this is I could just take that, go back to a rectangle and pick that point and pick that point. And then my rectangle is the exact same size. Close that. Make that into a hole. And now I have a hole that that is the exact size of the outside with these holes positioned exactly where the original was positioned. Now, of course, if you wanted this pad to fit inside that hole, I got to put some clearance on there. So you can always do an offset around that shape. So when you, when you originally drafted the shape, you just do an offset around it and that will give you some clearance. If I was putting a peg in here, it would fit the same in this top part as it would fit in that bottom part. So simply that is a sub object shape binder. It allows you to take a face, take those objects and then put them down uh, onto another surface. One other thing with it is if I go into my sketch and I move this shape, I'll close it. Now, if we look at the two, the hole moved for both of them. So you can see that, that it's bound to it. So it's going to move whenever I move that one, it'll move this one. So that is another fantastic thing about the sub-object shape binders. It keeps them bound together. So if you move things around, they're going to move with you. And that can be very useful. Again, if I open up that sketch and I just take this square to make it into a bigger rectangle, close that. And you can see both of them have a larger rectangle. So if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or if there's things you would like to see, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, if you want to join the channel, you certainly can do that on YouTube. If you want to join our Patreon, you can do that. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, I'd, be re I'd really appreciate that. Uh, if you just want to subscribe, subscription is free. You just press the subscribe button, cost you nothing, and then you'll know when we publish the next video. So I'll look forward to making the next video. I'm going to try and do several of these here. I've got a little bit of time coming up where I will have some time to do some more videos. So I'm going to do some rapid fire and create a few of them. So again, if you need anything, feel free to reach out. I answer all of the comments. Thanks.